Hey you guys, it's your girl Glitter. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am featuring Red Doll and we are going to do a get ready with me, uh, AKA what's in your makeup bag. So she's a makeup artist mm -hmm. and obviously I'm not. So I just have a regular every day to day person's makeup bag. So she's going to look inside my makeup bag and see what type of face that we can create within like a 25 minute range based off of what little products I have. So stay tuned after we're gonna take pics and we're gonna post videos. And then we're also gonna talk a little bit about her makeup services and the things that she has to offer. Yeah. Well, this is our little mini makeup station for today's video. And this is my makeup bag. These are my brushes, my sponges. So like I said, she's gonna be working with the stuff that I have. So let's see what we have inside. So this is what we have. As you guys can see, it is pretty basic. Not too many products, probably like under 10, if that. But like I said, we'll discuss where everything okay. is. Um, and just stay tuned for the look. Every day, like, that's a good palette. What the hell is that? Okay, okay. we're back, you guys. We'll get started on my face. Hey, you just said so of course, first, first you know you gotta moisturize your face. Thing. We're just using some dollar store. Picture? Dove uh, cream. You can also get those from the, from the dollar store. That's like a fucking 60 pack or something. Mm -hmm. Four dollars. I'm gonna take this one. Turns everybody on, something is not gonna be a little fancy. She has her matte finishing spray. Are you talking to me? I'm gonna spray her face with this and also moisturize it. These will look good. Look, I do. Why not? Just kind of spray her face a little bit. Do you wear clothes for yourself or for him? It's his parents' anniversary, so in this case, it is for him. That's stupid. You've never been in a relationship. Sometimes you need compromise in order to have success. Do their brows so in her bag she has her dip brow pomade in auburn from what is this anastasia Anastasia. anastasia. you can get that from sephora mm -hmm. i think it's like 18 dollars yeah, y'all like last me for months i promise you, you don't much longer than just like an eyebrow pencil i got a call from the dean this one Which is nothing wrong with beauty supply. Nothing at all. Especially when it comes to like pencils and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
I'm anxious to see if we're gonna do any substitutes today, y'all, because I substitute with shit in my bag. <laughs> like my contour palette, I low key use for some eyeshadow mm -hmm. and shit like that. So we're gonna make sure we keep y'all updated on those type of things too, because those are like little mini tips. Okay, you guys, so the brows are on. The next thing we're going to do is eyeshadow. This is a contour palette from Morphe, but we are going to use this on my eyes. Um, let's see what we're going to style. This, we're going to do this bronzy color.
Oh, shit. As y'all can see, I fell asleep. <laughs> but I'm back, hoes. <laughs> Hurry it. No. <laughs> I'm scared for you to look there. I go to sleep. <laughs> Instead, you're running away from your fabulous marriage when you should be confronting it. Got both lashes on now. It is foundation time. I get my foundation from Max. I believe it is Studio Six, and I normally use NC45. Did I get it right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That's what it looks like, you guys. These are old lashes. Mm -hmm. That was in her bag too. I definitely just took these out the bag. So a lot of people use um different stuff when they apply. Old lashes foundation. do work miracles as well. I use my little egg. Some people use brushes. I like old lashes. Whatever like, works for you. Those eggs you can find anywhere from CVS. Like, I'm about to do a little commercial. Right. Just kidding, you guys. But y'all know y'all can find the eggs anywhere. <laughs> but the eggs is good. Did you can, like, put them in the freezer. Work that shit in it. Mm -hmm. The next step, as you know, is concealer. concealer. This concealer is also from MAC. Um, this is the 24 hour studio fix. I like stuff that's long lasting because I like to be out all night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we can also use the egg to go ahead and even that out and blend that in. Make sure with the seller, y'all pat, do not swipe. With coverage, even though I don't have nothing to cover, y'all. But when you do a face, you want the hell. But I just like for my shit to be beats. So we still doing my foundation. As I said, I was using my question here. Do you have a preference for the type of foundation that you like to use for your clients, like the brand? Mm, I like to use Juvia's Place. That's like my new phase. And um, so here's a good one. Ooh, good secret. Um, Milani for inexpensive ones, black only. You can get that in Target and Walmart. Milani, go. check that out, you guys. Now it is baking time, and I use Sasha Buttercup, which is a black um line. I like it. It's really good for our skin. Doesn't crack on your face. Doesn't make you look ashy. And this is again once a one of those products that lasts for months. Like I be having my jars for months and months. Let me show y'all what the jar looks like real quick because it's kind of messy. But this is a jar. It's the name. Yeah, I've had this for like five or six months because a little goes a long way when it comes to setting powder. I've tried other brands like Laura Mercier and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, when people do my makeup, I let them use whatever they use. Like, it works for them. This is just what works for me with me doing my own makeup. This is keep that bag. in mind. Yeah, this is what's in my bag. It doesn't mean that um, you can't use other brands. This is just easy 
for my beginner head ass. <laughs> now you guys we're gonna start working in on the contour. We're back using the Morphe palette. Um, I believe this is medium to dark that I purchased. Um, that palette was only like $24. I love it. As I told you before, I also use it as a substitute for my eyeshadow when I just want to do a natural brown look. And we did use this on our eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Gotta make it work, ladies. Makeup is very expensive, especially mm -hmm. if you don't do it for a profession. So I just like to mix and match and see how I can make certain things work for multiple purposes. This is the bronze and part of the setup. This is just warming her face up for that nice contour. Bring more to her face. Yes, y'all. Uh, y'all don't want them ashy powder faces. <laughs> Casket ready faces. You gotta get some warm tones up in there. Let's go. I got back down the head. I was told that people use the same brush that they like warm your face up to dust that off. Is that right? So that it like puts a little color to it? Yeah, that sometimes. And then also you can use like a fresh brush to just blend like those two colors in. Because okay. sometimes the residue can get when you're a contour and then you got to go back in. Gotcha. So, I just use a fresh one for you for the fresh face. Well, yeah, that's definitely something that yeah, I do. Though. Just in case you <laughs> don't want to make your face look extra powdery and you don't know what you're doing, I I use that so that it kind of tones it down. Some sometimes people have that really bright highlight under their eyes and doesn't work when you're trying to do a flash. Hell yeah, the <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Yeah, I do have a lot of girl. I be collecting brushes just because they're cute. <laughs> when I see cute brushes, I just like, oh, let me get. I I still have brushes, probably still in packs that I have over. I need to clean my brushes. You guys, I am so excited for my nail appointment tomorrow. These babies gotta. I take the darkest one. Don't go all the way down. Just go to the top. Okay. Jab it in. Top and then like a little here. So That's like a little C. I'm learning. It yeah. gives the effect of a contour. You'll see at the end when it all come together. And that's the darkest one, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's why I say it comes in threes. Like the warm color is the key, and then the dark one you go in right here with your cheek Because that's where you're kind of Get that Kim K effect. Lord knows, I don't know how to do that. Y'all, <laughs> if I tell y'all, so, so one day I was Googling how to do makeup, right? And I, a picture came up of Kim Kardashian, and it was like, you know how they break down like where you put the lines and all that stuff um and then you know i just know that you're supposed to blend now this is a picture this is not a video so i'm not getting proper instructions on how to blend so i just took the brush and i started <laughs> blending everything together i look fucking crazy like i look like an oreo face cream pie i don't know what the hell like i look ridiculous like it was brown and tan and white and shit everywhere like mixed together I didn't. I wasn't aware that you were supposed to blend in sections and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. and this is another clean brush that I'm just taking in and blending that dark 
color and with the warm color. So we can all just come together. And I see this makes it like a light contour. Mm -hmm. Cause some people yeah. be going in, girl. Like I've you had some get hard. Harsh ones and still make it look cute, but I always go I, less is more, especially when you don't need it. Got like, it, got it, got it. Yeah. Sometimes it. I hate when it be harsh ones. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it when I get it done like that for my photo shoots, it comes out good mm -hmm. in pictures. Yeah. But in person, I be looking like, hella like crazy, like. Much. I be looking crazy as fuck. To the point where after the shoot, I kind of got to like blend it out more for me to be in public because it looks crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm taking this little brush and this okay. is what I'm going to use for the nose. I seen this was what is in her bag. So Let's do a little. And I mix that with the medium, the first bronze, and the dark, a little dab of the dark. Just to already have it blended, so we don't even gotta do too much, but just blend Is this a substitute omelet? I feel like it is. Okay, we're making lip liner. What you using? This was just in my bag. <laughs> this is just a beauty supply store brand, actually. And it's, it's an oh boy, yeah, Matt. Um, give me a fake Kylie collection. That's what we're giving. So we're using like a gloss, a colored gloss mm -hmm. for the eyeliner, I mean lip liner. Like a new gloss. Everything very natural, still cute. And I'm using her angle brush, one of her angle brushes. And who knows where she got this from. Neither, what do you want? Rose. Because <laughs> she has a set of different brushes. Yeah, it, was, it was in a, a, a set. I love this uh, color because it don't make my lips look like pookie. <laughs> it's like a, a, a new, but it got a brown -ish. Pinkish something. <laughs> and this is a uh, smells like candy. It do, and it's really cute. It's like a cute baby pink plum gloss. This is from Maybelline, I can tell you. Yep. And it's in Sweet Mouth. This is now a taste. But I'm focusing on the middle and then I'm spreading it out. Cause that's where you want the most shine. Cool. Look at the damn lips. <laughs> Highlighting is my favorite part. <laughs> I love a little shimmer. And y'all already know what this is. The thing. Trophy wife. Trophy.
And this, I put in her tears are up if y'all haven't noticed. So, it's just kind of Oh, yeah, I do see it right there. Yeah. She's accent here and there. And she likes extra. Yeah. I like extra. <laughs> Y'all, I remember when I first started using this, my mom used to be like, why is your nose so shiny? She would walk up to me and just keep going like this, trying to wipe some of the um, highlight off my nose. Because that trophy wife is like... Yeah, little goes a long yeah. way. You can't really overdo this. I'm using like a little bit. You can see how yeah, see pigmented my, If I is. was using this, y'all would have seen the whole go straight down the nose. We're going to go ahead and use the finishing spray. Everybody knows this is and essential when you're done doing your face. And I just use the MAC little $10 studio, uh, mm -hmm. studio Fix Prime. That's what's in my bag, y'all. <laughs> I'm in her bag, too. <laughs> and this, this is what this took is her out. What put me in and my bag. And I didn't even know she only had one cup. <laughs> That's because she worked hard. That's why. She was tired. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now I'm about to go ahead and put my outfits on. So stay tuned for the oh, looks. Shoot, Touched by Nia. Very dull. <laughs> Period. That's what it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, let me get on.